Hey guys, this is Diego from LVN Studio and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I use the newest KineMaster 6.0 app for my photography business. I do portrait photography work and I've been using KineMaster for about 3 years now to mix my behind the scenes content with the final results for my audience to see. And ever since then, I've grown hundreds of thousands of followers within my social media channels, and I know you can do it as well. In the KineMaster 6.0 app, you will see that the menu options display now in vertical mode, which is very convenient. Let's go to the search menu where we will find multiple video templates separated in multiple categories. In the search bar, let's type in harmony, and we will be using the template right here to create our video. Tap on Use to download it and it will open automatically. When you download this project, when you go back, it will be saved in the Create menu. On my social media channels, I have a specific style where I mostly use some of my favorite features that are transitions, sound effects, music and effects. This template gives me the base that I need for what I have in mind. So let's get started. We will start by replacing the current content, so select the first video and then tap on replace. We will then select the video from our albums. If the video you selected is longer than the one in the template, you can use the slip feature to select a portion of that video by dragging your video from left to right. Perfect. Let's do the same for the remaining content. Now that all our content is replaced, we will remove the stickers, but just as the pictures, you could replace the stickers as well if you would like to keep them. By the way, the ones that I'm deleting now are called video assets. Now we will make some of these videos longer to show a bit more of the behind the scenes. To do it, simply select the video and drag one of the sides. Some of the other elements will shift, like this sound effect for example, so let's reposition it. And we will also do the same for the other sound effects and increase the duration of the music. Awesome! Now we will take care of the transitions and we will simply select some of the ones that I really like. Finally, I will add some movement to the photos so the video flows a bit better. To do it, let's select on the first photo, tap on the pan and zoom feature, select the end position and pinch in to zoom a bit more. We will do the same for the remaining images. Very good! Now let's tap and hold on the play button to preview the final video. That looks great! So now this video is ready to post on my social media channels. To export it, tap on this button at the top right corner, select 4K, high quality and tap on save as video. I hope you guys like this video, it is very easy to adapt these video templates to your business and it is also a great way to learn about the app and the features it offers. Have fun editing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!